All right, guys, let's get started with Nook Press and uploading our fantastic books to that platform. You'll need a Nook Press account, so once you've got your account, go ahead and um, join us. So once you come into the Nook's uh, dashboard, in order for us to upload a new book, we are going to create a new project. And this is, I'm still working on Moonrise, trying to get all of the platforms covered. So I'm gonna enter that title. Well, it's the project name, it's not necessarily the title. And Nook has a couple of areas for us to, to deal with. We're gonna work with the manuscript first, then the cover image, then we're gonna enter our metadata, and then we'll be ready to hit the publish button, and our book will be available for Barnes and Noble's book readers. So I'm gonna upload uh, my manuscript. Nook gives me the option of doing a doc, a text, an RTF, an HTML, which I'd be fascinated to see someone writing in HTML, or an EPUB. I've got my EPUB handy, and I'm going to tell that to Nook. I'm in the wrong file. I want to be in the Moon Kind series, and I want to be in the Moonrise folder on my publishing platforms. And here is my EPUB. If you've taken other classes with me, or if you by chance happen to have taken a class on ground with me, um, you will start very quickly to, I will beat you over the head until you have root folders with everything very organized in them because it just makes life so much easier. And as you've been watching me go through my files on my uh, desktop, you see how ridiculously organized I am because man, it just makes life easy. So Nook is thinking about my manuscript and while I chattered on for a few seconds, it should have it just about ready. All right, so Nook has grabbed my manuscript. Um, I could preview this book. I'm not gonna do it now. I've already previewed it on one platform. It's the exact same file, so I know that it looks good and I know that I'm grabbing the correct file. But I do encourage you to get in the habit of doing that. I'm not gonna waste your time right now because I feel very confident um, in what I have uploaded here. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my cover image under cover, I'm gonna, it should take the high res because that's only 743 kilobytes and Nook's max is five megs. And yes, please go ahead and add it to uh, my cover, add the cover to the manuscript. Thank you for asking. And through the magic of video editing, that took one second instead of the 60 that it took on my end. And that looks fantastic. I love this cover so much. I just could stare at it for days. Um, so the cover's done. Now I'm gonna go into my details. Here's all my fun metadata. So the book's title, come on, Nook, stop thinking and let me do my work. Thank you. It grabbed a lot of this information already. Um, so it grabbed the project title and it made an assumption that this was my book's title, which it is. I'm a frequent flyer with Nook, so it um, knows who my publisher is. Now here is a sticking point. I've told my readers that this book is um, going live on August the 2nd. At the time of the recording, it's July 31st. And unfortunately, Nook does not allow for pre-order, so I can't change this. I can't make this um, August. It will yell at me if I try. Unless something has changed, I'm pretty sure it's going to yell at me, so I'm not even going to bother um, trying to do anything differently. The, my Nook readers will just be happy that they get the book um, a little bit earlier. So here I am. I am the contributor. I'm Ines, and I am the author. But just as we've seen before, if you want to give props to your editor or uh, your formatter or anybody else, you can uh, do that here. And like I've said before, I want all the glory. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have me there. I'm gonna go to my handy dandy metadata and grab that information and plug and chug that information here. Now 
Now I haven't tested this, but I don't believe that Nook um, allows for HTML. So I usually don't even bother with it on this platform. I just let it be, let it do what it do. Uh, Nook will put your author information, unlike on Amazon that has Author Central that will link your, um, your author bio, Nook asks you to put it um, with each book. So I grab that information and um, you'll see here that I have a brief tagline as well as a long tag, um, a long bio. And I'm just going to choose to put the whole bio here because it gives me the space to do it. It gives you 2,500 characters. And yes, I do have an ebook specific ISBN number. And yes, you are more than welcome to have it, Nook. Give me a second to grab it for you. And all that looks fantastic. I'm going to click Save and Next. Let's see if I made any mistakes. Nope, perfect. I didn't make any mistakes. So the next thing that I need to do is I need to choose my categories. And these are the same bicep categories. So I'm in fiction and inside fiction. These are, and with Nook, you get to choose up to five categories. And I am going to choose on Nook. Uh, African American romance still in fiction I'm also going to choose get down here under romance I'm going to choose oops African American and multicultural As always, under fiction, I'm going to come down to romance, and I'm just hitting the F for fiction and then the R for romance keys because I'm getting a little lazy. I, where am I? Paranormal, and actually I'm going to choose paranormal romance to be very specific. And what else did I choose here? Where's my cheat sheet? I need romance. Had one more steamy that's what it was I'm also going to choose steamy but you can see the list of categories that uh, uh, Nook has and you can make your decisions I've got one more left but at right now I can't think of another one so I'm just gonna leave it at four and I'm gonna be happy with that I'm gonna go and grab my search and uh, excuse me I'm gonna go and grab my keywords put that information in there. Uh, Nook asked me for my audience and my audience are going to be general adult. Kids really shouldn't be reading my books even though I bet most of us who are romance authors were reading romance books at very tender ages. I was 12. Uh, and my book is written in English so I'm going to make that uh, selection here. And all that looks great. It looks great. I'm going to go save and next. So I'm on the pricing portion. I want worldwide sales, even though Nook only sells in the United States. So this is a fruitless button for me to push, but I don't know, I guess I still hope against hope that, you know, somehow, some way Nook will rise to the forefront again. Who, here's hoping. Um, but yes, uh, oh, excuse me, no, I do not want to enable DRM uh, encryption for my book, and we've had that discussion before. $2.99 is the price of my book. It's pointless to try to, you can't even change these anymore because Nook is only available in the United States. And the royalty rate for Nook is 65% uh, and I will get $1.94 for every book that I sell. Now it's asking me a bit of other information. For example, is this book in the public domain? Nope, because guess what I did? I bled, I sweated, and I teared up over this book. Yes, it is a part of a series, and the name of that series is the Moonkind series. Now here's the thing though, Nook will force you to do a series number, and it's one platform. I'm gonna get over myself, and I'm gonna tell it that's the first in the series. 
And yes, my book is available for print. Unfortunately, I don't yet know the print pages. I'm gonna lie. Don't tell anybody I'm lying. And I'm gonna put in 200. And then when I know, I'll come back and I'll make a change. I'm gonna click next. And I think that's it. No, I've got editorial reviews, of which I have none yet because the book is uh, just coming out. So I'm not gonna add any editorial reviews. And if I don't click that add button, it can't force me to. I'm gonna click publish. It's gonna ask me, am I sure? And I'm gonna say yes. Nook, thank you for asking, but I am sure. And Nook will process the book and hopefully it will go on sale probably sometime today <laughs> to my reader's delight, read on Nook. So that's it for uploading your book using Nook Press. I hope that's been helpful and I'll see you guys again in the next lesson.